What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. And I am excited to say that today's video is being sponsored by the like button. So if you guys can go check out the like button right below the video and click it with a little thumbs up, that'd be awesome. Check out the sponsor. It's the like button. But with that being said, we're going to hop into a team recap and then go check on the Peter City Gym. It's probably going to be a short episode. Again, I'm still kind of recording and everything crazy like uh wife's still on standby to record a video or two if i need her to but we're gonna see what we can get accomplished today so off the just real quick we have leap the rampardos here at level 52 with the ma uh, moveset of magnitude rock wrecker cut and stone edge with the forecast ability we then have game boy at level 60 with the levitate ability he has fire blast shockwave overheat and zap cannon we then have Proxify, the Celebi at level 60 as well, with Needle Arm, Psycho Cut, Signal Beam, and Zen Headbutt. We have Kronzer the Manetric here at level 39 with the Sturdy Ability, with Thunder Fang, Thunder, Thunder Punch, and Milk Drink. We have Mega the Togekiss with the Mold Breaker Ability with Fly, Sky Attack, False Swipe, and Brave Bird. Finally, we have Shiny the Shiny Kyogre at level 65 with the Bad Dreams Ability with Waterfall, False Swipe, Surf, and Hydro Pump. So we're going to go ahead and hop into the gym battle at Pewter City. I think we're finally ready to take on Brock. Pretty close to his own to his level, and we have a bunch of healing items if we need them. Ooh, there's an item there. How do I get to it? Uh, I don't, wait, do I just... Okay, I'm going to go get this item real fast. I don't even know... Oh, I don't have Rock Smash. Never mind. I might need to... I might want to get that at some point. If I need it. Guess let me know down in the comments. Do I need Rock Smash to finish this game? So, to get the experience, I'm actually going to fight these trainers. Uh, we're still kind of trying to catch up on levels, and that's what we're going to do. Also, let me know down in the comments, after we beat the game, after we do everything in it, would you guys like me to make a one-off video to where we take, where I take every mon that's currently in the PC and evolve them by whatever means necessary, if it needs a stone evolution or whatever, just so we can see what they could have been. I think that'd be pretty interesting, and I'd like to see that as well. But you guys can let me know if you would be interested in that. If you are, I will definitely do that. Kind of like what I did with the uh, Blue Kaizo series, where I ginned in the Mewtwo's at the, after we lost the Nuzlocke, and I was done with it and everything. And I just kind of went, you know, went through and beat it anyways, even though we had already lost the challenge. If you guys want to see a video like that for this series, you know, let me know down in the comments, and I will definitely do that. So we got Leap going up to level 53 here. And Kronzer still didn't level up, uh, but he is getting pretty strong. So and instead of going all the way back and healing, we are just going to... I think I have like a potion or something in here I can use. Uh, da, 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 da. I really don't want to... Oh, we got a movement milk. We'll use this. Uh, yeah, there we go. Not, didn't really need... To, I mean, it healed 61 points, so it's something... But we're going to take on Brock here and see what we can get as far as a team. I'm pretty sure we can beat him. His strongest Mon, I'm thinking, will be level 60 or 59, 60, something like that. Either way, I do not want to be in against a Pelipper. So we are going to switch and put Proxify in and hit this thing with some Needle Arm. Which should take this thing out. No, it didn't. Wow, but it flinched, so that's good. Oh, he's going to use a full restore. Ah, oh, that clamp is getting annoying. I mean, it's not doing too much damage to us, but it's still... It's just really annoying when they have moves like that. He's probably going to use... Okay, he flinched, but he's... Still probably going to use another... Okay, he didn't. I figured he'd use another full restore there. Kind of glad he didn't. It really wouldn't have made sense for him to use two, two full restores on his first Mon, so. Okay, Kronzer's up to level 40. Slowly, he's getting to where we can actually, you know, he'd be really good to use. Let's switch. Let's go into Leap, and then we can just hit it with a Rock Wrecker to take it out, like we did the Art Articuno and the other, the other guy that had the Articuno, so. Only level 56, Powdered Snow. That shouldn't do too much to us. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so 45, that's not bad. Okay, and this rock wrecker should take him out, hopefully. Anyways, uh, yes, it does. Okay. 
Good, so we're, that's two mons down, three to go. A Palkia. Awesome. Uh, we'll just stay in. Maybe not the best decision. Definitely not the best decision. Dragon Pulse just killed me. Oh, okay. That's not good. Level 58. Uh, I think we just go into China. I can still use him. As long as he doesn't hit level 65, I can use him. So. Spatial Rend. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Hopefully we can one-shot this thing. I can't believe we just lost Leap. That's not... What type is Palkia? Uh, he's water and dragon. Uh, okay, let's. What? I'm trying to think, what would be the best thing for us to use against him? Uh. Dragon or Fairy, but we don't have either one of those. Maybe we can go and... Uh, what do we do here? Because water is not going to do much damage. Because he resists it. Because he's part water. I could use False Swipe. That might do some decent damage to him. I mean, we can't kill him with False Swipe, but if Spatial Ren's not doing too terribly much to us, we can outhill it. Let's see how much False Swipe does on him. Nope, doesn't do enough. Uh, I don't really have... Because I don't have any Dragon or Fairy type that would be good against him. Let's try to think. What would be the best thing for us to do here? Uh, I, I honestly don't know. I don't have... Maybe if we go into Proxify and use a Psychic type move on him. Okay, first we need a heal. This might have been a bad idea. Okay, so let's use a uh, Psycho Cut. Okay, yeah, that does a lot more. Okay, good. So let's just heal up again. And he didn't go to the red, so we can hit him with another Psycho Cut to take him out. Alright, that got a little bit scary. It sucks that we lost Leap. We were finally starting to get a really good team put together. And... Then we died. We'll just stay in. Uh, we'll heal up. Level 59. Maybe that's his ace. Maybe Shiny wasn't even legal, but it, it's... At this point, I, I don't... It's hard for me to keep up, so... There we go. Alright, we got Bennett down. Alright, so Proxify is asleep, so we're going to have to... Oh, and a Dark Cry. Why didn't they just... Really? Oh my gosh. Okay. What is... I don't think... Well, then again, he has random movesets. I was about to say, Dark Cry doesn't really learn any super strong moves. Okay. Why didn't they just name him the Legendary Trainer or something? So now we got to I think we'll be alright though. If we just... We can't stay on the Frog Spike because Psychic's not going to hit a Dark type. But he, we can hit him with Bug. But he just... Okay, I know what I'll do. We'll stay in. I can... Uh, I can stay in. I can... Use a full restore, which will wake me up. And get a... Fill my HP back. He's got Pursuit, which is good. I'm glad I didn't switch out. And we can hit him with Signal Beam. Dark Void. 
And now I'm asleep again. Awesome. I think I have some awakenings. Somewhere. Uh, awakening, right here. So we can wake up. Maybe I should just went for the full restore and... Dark Void again. And I can't switch out because he's immediately going for pursuit after he puts me to sleep. Yes, I need a heal. Uh, we'll just use a full restore. And then he's just going to go for uh, Dark Void again. But I really don't want to lose another Mon here. That's why I'm kind of playing it smart and slowly. Okay, let's try to go for... Okay, Pursuit again. Okay. Signal Beam should do quite a bit because he is uh, two times weak to it. Okay, half damage. Uh... Let's do it again. Pursuit, okay. This should kill. Come on, kill it. Kill it. Okay, good. We killed it. Okay, now we gotta figure out who... Who do we put on the team next? That's gonna be... That's gonna be a hard decision. Because, I mean, I was happy with our team. I just wasn't expecting to run into an Articuna, a Palkia, and a Darkrai. All at the same time. Alright, let's see what this TM is. Bag, TM80... Uh, switcheroo. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go back. We got, at least we got the, uh, badge. The only thing I could have done was been a little bit more prepared by grinding some more. So, unfortunately, we did lose Leap. But, we have plenty of mods in the PC. So, let's put... Let's move. Uh, let's see what we have here. I mean, we do have Shuckle. That's level 71. We can't use him for a very long time. And he's not very strong. We have Ivysaur. Uh, Bronzong. He's pickup ability, so. He's level 6, though. Let's see. We have Machamp at level 28. He's holding a TM. Uh... Octillery at level 27 with pure power. But we already have a water type. Polyworld, we already have a water type. Beedrill. Snowbird, you know, grass and ice wouldn't be too bad. Dragonair. But we don't know what he would evolve into. And he's only level 20. Let's see, we got this chocolate at level 20. I don't think chocolate's a good, a good thing. Uh... Let's see. Wishcash is level 49. So maybe we bring uh, Wishcash back on the team. Or maybe Crobat. If I had a Water Stone, I'd put Shelter on the team to see what he evolves into. But I don't have a Water Stone. Uh... For alligators, level 32. So we have some options here for sure. I just don't know what the best choice would be. You guys can let me know down in the comments who you think. Uh, I'm thinking maybe Dragonair. Machamp. You know. Bronzong would be good, but he's really weak. He's only level 6. But I'm thinking Machamp, Dragonair... Or maybe bringing Wish Cash back on the team. He's level 49, so he's like right there with the rest of our team for the most part. Uh, he has Rain Dance, Aqua Tail, Water Pulse, and Surf. So only Water type moves, so that really doesn't help us any. Because we already have a Water type. But we also have Gardevoir. He's only level, she's only level 8, but if we did get something that's lower level, throw the experience share on him, I can run through the Elite Four a couple times and get him a pretty good level. But for the meantime, let's put Leap and the PC here. 
And we'll just run with five Pokemon for now. At least for the rest of this episode. Because that took forever to get through that gym battle. Alright, go back. There we go. Alright, let's heal up. I think the next thing would be what? Going down to... Going through Mount Moon? And then... Uh, Route 4. Because we need to go to... No, we need to go to Viridian then to Pallet Town. Because we don't really need anything in Mount Moon. We already got our thing. There's nothing in Cerulean. So yeah, I think we... I think we just head... We go to Viridian and then head south to, to uh, Pallet Town. That way we can surf to Cinnabar Island and take on Blaine. So yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, fly to Viridian. So we have, what, three more gym battles left? Yeah, three. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Anything here that's useful what if we go this way okay route 22 we can get an encounter here uh a claydol i'm honestly just gonna run nothing that's not really worth us getting all right let's keep going down here let's go south route one okay we can get an encounter here which is probably gonna be super weak but Mareep we already had. So let's just keep running around. Ooh, an Azelf. Okay. Uh, only level two. So I'll catch it. Because why not? But... Ooh, Psycho Boost. It could be really good if we level it up. But it's going to take forever to level that Azelf up. Alright, let's do this. Uh, Pokemon. Let's go over to Mega. False swipe. Bag. And now we can throw some Ultra Balls at it. Maybe catch it. Or not. I mean, I have the Master Ball, but I'd rather save it for... Maybe if we get something better. So about it becomes... Progressively better, the more turns are... Okay. So I'll hold off on the Tire Ball. I'll use the Tire Ball after I use all these Ultra Balls. And then maybe it'll be good enough to catch it. If we don't get it before that. Come on. Alright, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just... I'll probably just cut this out until we get to where we actually catch them. Alrighty guys, so we caught them. But uh, yeah, I definitely messed up and used the Master Ball. Because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, well then, we'll just name this Elf. Well, that I wasn't. Yeah, that. That's a little bit upsetting. I mean, we don't have very many more encounters left. I could just go buy a bunch of. Hey, I mean, he's on the team, so we might as well check him out. But let's see. Skilling increases the frequency of multi-strike moves. Okay, Psycho Shift, Psycho Cut, Magic Coat, and Psycho Boost. I don't know, I think Elf might actually be worth keeping on the team. You guys can let me know, because then I can take Proxify and turn him into a straight grass type. Or leave him as a multi-type, you know, and then, uh, I don't know, I'll stop the experience share on him. Why not? I'll add him to the layout. And then you guys can let me know if you think there's somebody else that I should add. I don't know how good as Elf is. But... Just for the time being, for the rest of this episode, we'll, he'll be an honorary member of the team. So we'll give him that, and he'll level up pretty quickly. I mean, he's only level 2, so... And these trainers should be a pretty high level, so with the experience that he gets, he should get quite a bit. Yeah, he's already up to level 3. Oh, look at that, level 5. Medichan. I just can't believe that... Uh, Selby gave so little experience. It only gave like 300 and some experience. 
Okay, Kronzer's at the level 41. Elf's at the level 6. Feather Dance, uh, keep old moves. Didn't learn Feather Dance at the level 7. Alright, so yeah, I mean... It wouldn't take us long to level these guys up. Whoever we decide to add to the team. But, for now, I'll just... I don't know. If Azel's on the lit, on layout, awesome. If not, I probably forgot. But, yeah, we'll, uh... You guys can decide who we add to the team. And Mega. Fire Blast that. Elf's already up to level 11. I just figured, you know, throw, throw the experience share on him. Why not? I mean, he's already... Let's talk to this guy and take him out. Once we get to Pallet Town... That's probably where I'll end off the episode. And then we'll start going through to... The, uh... To Cinnabar Island in the next episode. To, uh... Get some more encounters and take out, uh... Lu Blaine? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I was about to say Lieutenant Surge. Beautifly. We'll just stay in. Uh, let's... Let's actually hill. It's probably a good idea to hill at this point. Shockwave. He's part flying, so that would do quite a bit of damage to him. Could have went for a fire move, but... Oh, well. There we go. Oh, great. Now this. So let's save and then we'll reset the game real fast. Before it completely crashes and I lose all the progress from this episode. Because I'm like 21 minutes in. So, but we should be almost to Pallet Town. There we go. And then we'll reset. File. Reset. And then we'll speed up through all this. There we go. Okay. Back to normal. And we got this trainer, so we'll take this trainer out. And then I believe this is the last trainer. Okay, Witch Cash. Uh, let's switch. Let's go to the Proxify. And then Needle Arm. Take him out. Latios. Why are there so many legendaries? This is like the legendary episode. Like, it's, like, it's just like, oh, let's show you all the legendaries that you don't have. I mean, I know I have, what? two three on the team something like that i don't know but still i want a palkia and a dark cry so but no can't do that so let's just take care of let's go talk to these people in these houses and then we will see if there's anything Worth it, so... No, nope, this is Red's house, I think. Let's go this way. Talk to Blue Sister. Ah, sure, why not? Groom one of them. Ah, yeah, here. There we go. Okay, nothing. Alrighty, that's it. Uh, let's talk to this lady. I don't think any of these people give anything, unfortunately. Whoa. Okay. okay. Took a picture. I don't know why, but okay. Ooh, we can get an encounter for Pallet Town. So we'll do that too before we end the episode off. Because maybe we'll get something better. Let's talk to Professor Oak. Okay. Uh, National. Okay, don't know what that was all about. I was hoping that maybe he gave you, like, a start or something. You know, like, in some games, like, I know once you do certain things, you can get a different, like, a starter from a later gen. Apparently not in this one. So we'll surf real fast. Get this encounter. Make sure we don't go... Okay, this is route... Ah, this is route 21. Good thing it's Lu Ludicolo, so... There we go. This is Pallet Town. Why not? Okay, so... We just lost out on our pallet town because I don't have any Pokeballs. So, but I want to end this episode off. Don't forget to go check out the sponsor of the video, the like button. It's just the little thumbs up thing right below the video. It'd be greatly appreciated if you did go check that out. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Who do you think we should add to the team? And we will switch that all around the next episode. But until next time, guys, as 
don't uh, but until next time guys have a great day and as always stay safe <laughs>